The action happens right now on Mari. It's one of the wildest teen shows we've ever done. Teen sisters who've had sex in exchange for hamburgers and sneakers. You know how much pain and hurt that you've given your mom? Oh, oh. I'm tired of this from both of y'all. Nico, stop today. And this teen tortures her special needs brother. If he disrespects me, I will beat his Why is it better if he's gone, Michelle? Yeah, he needs no, to go. No, he's not. Really? Really? You oh. are girls are out of control. You want to be a stripper? You want to see my imaginary pose? Hell yeah. You had group sex, too. Girls and boys. But we have a special guest who's going to set them straight. If you're going to make your mothers uncomfortable, then you don't get to sit on a stage and be comfortable yourselves. These teens survive one day in jail. You know where you're at? You're in your future right now. <laughs> We've joined forces to help these teens. Recently, we received these pictures of 13-year-old Kadisha and her 14-year-old sister, Alexis. Now, the way young teens dress is nothing compared to the way they act. Now, this is Carolyn, their mother, and Carolyn says, her two daughters have had sex with 40 guys. And she even believes one of them has had sex in exchange for a pair of sneakers. Take a look at 13-year-old Kadisha and 14-year-old Alexis. I'm training my little sister Kadisha to be just like me. We are grown-ass women. Can't nobody control us. We had sex with over 20 guys. No one can stop us. Not even our stupid-ass mother can do anything about it. We like to drink, smoke, party, and have sex. Every chance we get, we steal our mom's money and even pawn her jury. And we don't care if we get caught. If any girl wants to fight us, we'll jump in together and beat the hell out of them. We slap, punch, and kick our mother when she try to tell us what to do. We don't give a damn. Anyone who wants to get in our face today, they can kiss our natural black. Why are you crying? Because it hurt me so much to see what they're doing in their lives. They both admit to having sex with over 20 guys each. 20 guys. Oh. 13 and 14. Now, the 13 year old. She's just walk, walking in, in Alexis's footsteps. Yes. Uh, Alexis calls herself being a role model for Khadija. A role model? Oh. One of the so worst role model. Kind. Who had the sex in a hallway? Did you hear that rumor? Yes. Oh. A, a couple of Alexis's friends told me that they caught her in the hallway in the this apartment. This is the 14-year-old. The 14-year-old caught in the hallway with two guys. Oh. Doing oh. one of them and having sex with the other. And what did you hear about the, the younger one, Kadisha, at the fast food restaurant? Well, actually, her aunt caught her at having sex oh. with the older guy. Oh. And by oh. home with gifts, they come with all, all this stuff. What stuff? They come home with money, makeup, shoes, clothes, just different gifts that I'm afraid that they might be having sex for the gifts. Oh, I see. Oh. And oh. have they hit you? Have they ever touched you? My girls call me bitches and hoes and oh! you don't know how that feels. Somebody that is calling you a bitch or a hoe. Did you hear anything about groups? I heard that uh, they were both in the room having group sex. Oh! It's time we meet them, all right? 14-year-old yeah! Alexis, 13-year-old Kadisha, here they are. You know how much 
and hurt that you've given you know how much you've given her? Oh. Oh. Are you going to downgrade yourself, Alexis? I love you guys. I want so angry what's wrong what's wrong with you i'm grown i can do anything whoa, 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 whoa. you're grown yeah the last time i checked you were 14. No, i'm grown i'm still a grown mother i'm still a grown man so you're grown up enough to know yeah. that what Are you grown too at 13? Oh. You're grown too. I sure am grown. Well, mm -hmm. you being a role model for her? Yep. Do you love your mother? Yeah, but she yeah, just. Yeah, but what? She's a she all the time. She is mad, mad, mad. Not a bitch, Alexis. I'm your mother and I love you. <laughs> Run your mother, okay? You don't run anything, okay? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it from both of y'all. Nick will stop today. Kadisha. Kadisha, you're so grown up that you have to go steal jewelry and money from your mother. Is that being grown up? Yes. Oh. yes. Carolyn, we wanted we wanted truth, okay? Okay. So last night, Alexis and Kadisha sat down with our producers because they had some secrets that they wanted to tell you. And watch this, watch. We had sex in an abandoned building. And guess what, Mom? We had our own threesomes, and we'll do it again. You proud of that? Here's, here's, here's another secret, Carolyn. We love sex so much, we even got paid for it. I had sex for a pair of sneakers. And I had sex for a hamburger, french fries, and a point tail weed. Yeah, Had sex for a hair weave. <laughs> Me? You? Yeah. I had a baby, I will buy, buy you a hair weave. I'll buy you a hair weave. Why'd you, you have sex beautiful for a pair of sneakers? Is that them. all your body is worth? No, a pair of sneakers? I got paid for money to it, and it was worth it. Oh, it's what? a win-win situation. Oh, it's not a win-win. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It's a lose-lose. Yes, it was. You're giving up your body and your dignity and your self-respect. Yes, I want more for you, girl. I want more for you. We'll be back right after this. We'll be right back. This team tortures her special needs brother. If he disrespects me, I will beat his Why is it better if he's gone, Michelle? Yeah, he needs no, to go. No, he's not. Really? Really? You, you want to be a stripper? You want to see my imaginary pose? Hell yeah. yeah. But we have a special guest who's going to set them straight. It's one of the wildest team shows we've ever done. Mom? Yeah, baby. Huh? I mean, you made. You made a mess? Okay. Need help? Big dog. Now, this is Carolyn. That's a clip of her special needs son. 
who was stricken with meningitis three years ago. He is now disabled. Now, you would think that that was enough challenge in life. But now, Carolyn has to manage her wild 15-year-old daughter, Michelle, who thinks it's okay to bite, slap, and spit on... And Michelle's violent ways aren't restricted to her mom. She will physically and mentally abuse that brother who you just saw, who is too sick to defend himself. Here's their story. Three years ago, Carolyn's life changed dramatically when she was given terrible news about her son, Michael. When my son was 15 years old, he went to the doctor with a terrible headache. He was diagnosed with spinal meningitis. He needs full-time care and he can barely speak. I made a mask. You made a mask? Okay. He has a brain capacity of a four-year-old, and our lives have changed forever. But just one year ago, Carolyn's family's crisis got even worse when her now 15-year-old daughter, Michelle, started to lose control. My daughter began punching me, hitting me, spitting at me, and it breaks my heart. Michelle says that Michael faking his symptoms <laughs> and she pushes him and then knocks him down. I don't care if my brother Michael is sick. If he disrespects me, I will beat his Sadly, Michelle's violent behavior is not just at home. I am proud to be gang related. I have been in over 70 fist fights. I even took off my belt wrapped it around a bitch's neck and choked her out. If I want to have oral sex at a pizza or at the park, I will do what I want to do. No one can tell me what to do. Your daughter. That's your daughter. Have you ever seen her hit your son? Yes. You have? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes. And hit you, spit on you, and call you names. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I didn't raise her that way. And it's not Michael's fault. How many she... times do you think she's hit you? More times than I can count. More times than I remember. <laughs> she punches me, she spits on me. Oh! She does She everything runs away to me. from home? Yes. And you found her at a vacant trailer? The police did. <laughs> she would call me up when she was gone and make ransoms that if I didn't get her nails done or didn't give her back herself, she, I would never see her again. Taken away her phone before? Oh, yeah, and then she runs away again, and then she breaks the doors, and she hits on Michael, and she calls him retarded and stupid. <laughs> Hope he dies, and yeah. You found sex letters? Oh, yes, I found one. My husband found it in the hallway, told me I needed to look at it, and it said, had a picture of a penis, and it said, on it, um, I had sex with so and so. How does it feel to have my? She comes home with that. She comes home with all kinds of money all the time. I don't know if she's selling her body or she's stealing it or she's selling drugs. Well, maybe. I can't wait to hear from her. Here she is again, 15 year old daughter Michelle. Oh, Watch. Boy. Mom, when you disrespect me, to me, you're just a dumb slut. No one, not even you, are the boss of me. When I ran away for three days, yeah, I had sex. I liked it, and no one's gonna stop me. I don't care if my brother Michael is sick. In his brain, he knows not to disrespect me. And when he does, I'll push him and I will stop him until he learns not to do it. I have been in over 70 fights, and I love the rush. It shows out there that I have power and not to mess with me. If anybody wants to tell me how to live my life, I will beat your ass. Okay, here's big, tough Michelle. Let's welcome Michelle. about right yeah you feel you feel good about beating up on your brother who cannot respond do you feel good about that if he be disrespecting me yeah what do you mean disrespecting? <laughs> i just 
saw him. How can he disrespect anybody? He uses it every day against oh, everybody. Oh, you using this, huh? I think your brother's faking it. I don't think he's faking it, but he uses it every single day against me and my mom that we have to take care of. He's helpless. Oh my God, when me and my mom are not there, he does everything for himself. Come on. You're not a doctor. How are you so gonna he, he, knows knows knows. he knows it. He knows it in his brain. Michelle, Come on, no, he, no, he does not. No, you. he does not. Are you Come a doctor? On. Are you a doctor? So what? <laughs> All three of you, no. you're a selfish little no. kid. You're rough and tough. You like to beat up on people, huh? Yeah, they be disrespecting me, yeah. Really? You ever been beat up on? Folks, I'll be beating up on them. Oh, really? Oh. Really? Really? You oh. Michelle, you had no. sex? Yes, I did. Twice, a lot? Once. You've only had sex once? No, that's not true. It is too no, it's true. Not. Yes, no, it's it not. Is. No, it's yes, not. It is. I've heard it five, six times. So you took a belt, wrapped it, choked the girl, right? And proud of that. Yeah, because that was the only thing I had to defend myself with. And I just took the, my belt, wrapped it around her neck, and I choked right. her. And she had marks all around her neck. Oh. Where do you get. Are you having sex for money? No, I have not have done sex That's for money. That's what your That is one thinks. thing I have not done. What about the, the booby shots? Are you doing that I for money, I have never done that. <laughs> I have not done that. Oh, come on. We'll be back right after this. We'll be right back. Samantha admits to being addicted to sex. Think she wants to get pregnant? Yeah. Oh, my God. And I don't care why you talking to me. I'm my skirt. On my skirt? No, I didn't think so. Just shut up. But we have a special guest who's going to set them straight. It's one of the wildest team shows we've ever done. This is Danya. Danya is terrified. Her 15-year-old daughter, Drianna, is heading down a life of self-destruction. Now, for starters, Brianna admits to having sex with 10 people, boys and girls. Oh. Brags about having group sex with four people at once. Oh. She says one of her career goals is to be a stripper. Oh. This is 15-year-old Brianna. The men Obama became president I got the right to do what the hell I want to do. I had sex with 10 different people last month, guys and girls. I'm bad as hell. I had a person with two girls and one guy. My dumb ass mother can't do a damn thing about it. I have no problem putting my mother or my little sister in the face, and ain't nobody gonna try to stop me. I love to fight in school. I'm suspended right now for busting this girl in her damn face. I broke seven sets of my mom's dishes, cause the dumb wanted me to actually wash them. I want to be a nurse, but if that don't work out, I'm just become a stripper. I run my life and can't nobody stop. Your daughter thinks that because Barack Obama was elected president, <laughs> she can do anything she wants. No, because she's simple-minded. That's something a simple-minded person would say. I love these goals that she has. See, these are, these are two goals in life, okay? She says, I'd like to be a nurse, but if I'm not going to be a nurse, I want to be a stripper. <laughs> want to be a stripper? She says it all the time, but I, I just don't know what to tell her anymore. I just tell her, say, that's not a, I try to lead her down the right path. This is one more thing Drianna wanted to say to you, okay, <laughs> and to the rest of the world. Watch this. Hey, Mom, listen up, dumbass. I smoke, I drink, I have sex, and you ain't gonna do a damn thing to stop me. Last time you tried to run my life, I woke you up out of your sleep and slept. 
You better not try to today. Here she is, Brianna. Why did you decide to have sex with all these people? Because it was good. I'm trying to... <laughs> your body so much you had group sex too foursome yes two girls and a boy yes and, and you respect good. yourself so much you want to be a stripper hell yes and if the next don't work out today i'm going to be a stripper you want to see my imaginary pose hell yes It's going to be any success in your life except for put me in the grave. You love your mother? Yeah, I love her. Well, we're going to try to help you because guess what? I saw a little crack in her just then. We'll be back right after this. Samantha admits to being addicted to sex. Think she wants to get pregnant? Yeah. Oh, my God. Fuck, here I What's up? I'm not scared. On my skirt? No, I didn't think so. Just shut up. But we have a special guest who's going to set them straight. It's one of the wildest teen shows we've ever done. This is Debbie. Now, sadly, Debbie has been diagnosed with breast cancer for the second time. She doesn't know how much longer she has to live. And she's got to have help for her out of control 14 year old daughter, Samantha before it's too late. You see, Samantha admits to being addicted to sex. She says she has had sex with over 100 men. This is how it's affecting her mother. I have cancer. And I don't know, I don't know what else to do about it because I don't know what to happen and how I'm going to feel knowing that she's not taking care of or where she's at or who's with her. Or diamond for me. My daughter has admitted she's had sex with over 100 men. Didn't matter where, or how, or where she would get it, she was going to do it whether I liked it or not. The way she's acting, she's going to be hurt. Maybe die of AIDS. Somebody's going to kill her. And I don't want to go to my grave knowing that I failed as a parent. I really don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's killing me. She's admitted to me that. She's met guys off chat lines, but she's had sex with them, and there's nothing I can do to stop her. She hates me. She hopes I die of my car when I get there. When I walk out the door, she calls me whore, bitches, and tells me she don't love me. I just wish I had my baby back. Debbie. Why are you hiding, Debbie? You can't hide. You can't do this. I feel I failed. You do what? I failed as a parent. You're battling cancer, and you're battling your daughter. It's hard. Very hard. Not she's had sex away. with a hundred. That's what she brags about. No! I don't know how true that is, but she brags. You think she wants to get pregnant? Yeah. Oh. Do you know what she says her goal is? I hate to even ask. 
She says her goal is to have sex with 400 men before she's 16. <laughs> she got uh, what? what in the bathroom at school? She was having sex. Bathroom. That's what I heard. I can't wait to meet Samantha. Here she is, 14. Here's Samantha. Yourself. Yeah. You do? No, we don't. If you have respect for yourself, how can you have slept with 100 people? Because I can. And I, won't, can. and I want to. No, you, you won't. To. But I, okay. I bet you don't. Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't care why you're talking to me. Because I can now and I you will. Can. Now you can. Yeah. I got a surprise for you. <laughs> we have a special guest who's going to set them straight. If you're going to make your mothers uncomfortable, then you don't get to sit on a stage and be comfortable yourselves. And these teens survive one day in jail? You know where you're at? You're in your future right now. <laughs> It's one of the wildest teen shows we've ever done. You know, we've been talking to 13, 14, 15-year-old wild teen girls who are living drastic lives filled with sex, violence, and as they say, you know, drastic times call for drastic measures. He has become a true motivator. He is now a compelling talk show host. Please welcome everybody, Steve Wilco. <laughs> Before this, you were a cop. I was a Chicago cop. For 10 years. Yep. So, you know, you know that side of the behavior. Yes, I've seen both. I, I see what happens to these girls in the future. They sit out here and they talk the way they do and they act the way they do. But I, I see the end result of this behavior. Okay. I've seen it too many so, times. So, what do you want to say to them? First of all, I want to say, as a father, this is the all-American nightmare. <laughs> as a father raising a young daughter myself, I look at you and I've been back there listening, and I say, God forbid my daughter acts like you for even five seconds. <laughs> You know, when I was working the streets of Chicago, I saw girls and young men do real stupid things, act out of control. But one thing I didn't see to this level is how you could be so disrespectful to the mother that brings you into the world. And the one thing I can say is, Maybe someday you'll get a little taste of it yourself when you bring kids in the world and they treat you that way. So I'm going to ask respectfully every one of you to stand up right now. I want you to stand up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I have to get up. mother's uncomfortable and feel pain, then you don't get to sit on a stage and be comfortable yourselves.
First of all, I want to talk to you. You say you're a role model? A role model. Honestly, you couldn't be a role model to a dog. You have younger sisters, you're gonna lead them down a path that they're gonna end up either dead or in jail. That's a role model? Yeah. How about being something, somebody proud of that you can walk down somebody talks to you about you in such a positive manner and makes your mother proud? And you, the gang member. <laughs> I dealt with gangs for, for 12 years in Chicago. Latin Kings, Spanish Cobras, Black Disciples, bad, bad people, but the real deal. And I see you come out here. You picked on your disabled brother. I honestly gonna say, I'm 44 years old. I'm a grown man. I've seen people shot. I've seen people that have been dead for weeks. And the same reaction I had then, where it turns my stomach and I want to vomit, that's what you made me feel like. I heard you singing your little song, all of you, whatever. I love the song of whatever. Because you know who sings it? Cowards. <laughs> Laugh all you want. Laugh all you want, because that's the truth. When you have nothing else to say, when you have nothing intelligent to say, when you're not educated, that what's, that's what you sing. Whatever! This one, this one, of course, is the one who calls her mother all kinds of names, and by the way, believes that Barack Obama gave her a pass. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Aquacanon President Award. Oh, yeah, yeah Brock's, Brock's, he'll be really proud when, if he sees this show and he watches you. Yeah. That's what his message yeah. to America is, right? Everything that you say that comes out of your mouth, <laughs> President Brock is against. Samantha, who just doesn't even want to be here. I ain't got to be care. here. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I want you to listen. It's something that you'll take for a long time in no, your I'm life. Not this is about your mother. I'm not going to be disrespectful to you right now. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? There are so many women I meet in my life that they've lost their mothers. They would give anything in their life to have two more minutes with their mom. I don't care. You will care. You will care. You might not care right this minute, but someday, okay. someday when you're standing over yeah. her, and she can't talk back to you, mm -hmm. you're going to be the one crying. Mm -hmm. She won't be there to console. Mm -hmm. She won't be there to mm -hmm. care for you anymore. Mm -hmm. And believe me, mm -hmm. once she's gone, mm -hmm. who the hell's going to care about mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. I don't the way you I, I'm not listening. I'm not listening to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Steve. Steve, you got a nice, you got a nice little sure place for these young ladies, right? I certainly do. Ain't nobody to me. You're going to give them a taste of their future. Their future. Well, Stevie's going to take them to the Monmouth County Correctional Center. So they can see what their future is like. See how, we're going to see how tough no, you are no, in jail. I'm going home. It's easy to be tough on Maury stage, talking all that stuff. But when you're behind home. those bars, I bet you any money, I want to see some I'm girls crying. I'll see you in a little bit. We're going to have I lots of fun, girls. Nowhere. Lots of fun.
these teens survive one day in jail? Know where you're at? You're in your future right now. <laughs> It's one of the wildest teen shows we've ever done. After the show, Steve Wilkos took the teens on a school bus to impart his own special brand of education. Steve wanted to show these teens exactly where people that society cannot control spend their time, the Monmouth County Correctional Institution. Meet your new best friend, Sergeant Olson. It's our house, our rules. You keep running your mouth, you're going to stay here. You get in, you sit on that bench. This is no joke anymore. The young teens were forced to wipe off their makeup, remove all of their personal items, and wait to be searched in a holding cell. You're in here two minutes and you're already crying. No, this ain't scary. I can't stand the police. So do you think they care? Do you think they care? I don't care what they say. They can think whatever they want to. I really do not care right now. Whether you want it or not, this is where you're going to end up. You keep doing the things you're doing. They changed into prison uniforms and were led straight upstairs to get some tough love from actual female inmates. <laughs> When Driana sat down with Steve Wilkos in a real-life jail cell, she almost had a panic attack. Is there a claustrophobic feeling? feeling? It's, it's tough. <laughs> when you end up in there, that's exactly what's going to happen to you. I don't want you to end up here. You think you could change it all? Yeah. If you don't change, I promise you, you'll end up in there. I'm sorry, Mom. I love you. I want to do better. I don't want to be in a place like this. It was 15-year-old Michelle's turn to face the music. You think it's fair to put your hands on that helpless child? I can defend myself. Put your hands on me! You can turn it around. Are you going to let yourself settle to end up here? Or would you like to become something? I want to become something. Michael, I'm very sorry. And I love you to death. Mom, I love you too so much. You're my best friend. I do want to change. You can make something yourself. That left 13 and 14 year old sisters, Kadisha and Alexis. You 14 and you selling your body? Head. You are a baby. You don't you know, let nobody I'm touch your body. You, if you don't care about you, how is anybody else going to care about you? These women are pleading with you. Don't end up like us. I don't want to sell my body anymore. You need to be a better role model for your sister. She's following you. You can save yourself and you can save your sister. Why are you so angry? Why are you so bitter though? Because I don't want to talk to y'all. Y'all ain't my mama, so I really do not care about They're not. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. They're not your mom. You like your sister? Yeah, but I love my sister. Well, you're going to listen to her? Alexis wants to change, but will her younger sister? I saw it. You ain't my dad. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I'm not going to get out of your face. You're done. You're going back into self. It's one of the wildest teen shows we've ever done. Alexis wants to change, but will her younger sister? Apologize. Can you please talk to me? Ain't nothing to talk about. Just apologize. Apologize for what? I don't gotta apologize in front of these cameras. I ain't apologizing, so you wasting my time right now. You're gonna end up in here. You ain't my mama. Are I don't gotta to apologize for you. I don't care who you is. You're right. I'm not your mama. You talk to your mother like she's a piece of garbage on the bottom How of the How you shoe. know you're the dog? I saw. I saw it. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. Don't worry this. about it. Get out my face. I don't tell you. Get out my face. I'm not going to get out of your face. Kadisha was so uncooperative that Sergeant Olson was not going to release her unless she changed her attitude. You're going to have a seat. You could possibly be staying here. What do you want to do? Spending time alone in a jail cell gave this 13-year-old a chance to think about all of the events that led up to this moment. I'm sorry, man. I just want a better life. I don't want to I want to change. I want a better relationship. Let's go see your mom. As the teens went outside to be reunited with their mothers, we hope the day's experience and helps put a stop to all of their out of control behavior.
today is my birthday. They're married, but she suspects her husband broke his vow. I found a rotten tooth in my bed. Do you actually think I have sex with a woman with rotten teeth? Alan admits that at one time he was a player. He slept with over a thousand women. <laughs> you knew he was a player, he right? He told me he's changed, and I believe him. Is her husband having sex with other women? The lie detector determined. <laughs> On you. Oh no. You are the father. Yes. She's back. Mike is here, her father, to tell her a secret. My mom was murdered when I was a little girl. He's been my only parent. I just may not be your father. Oh. Is this man her father? I don't even know if I want to know. When it comes to 18-year-old Brittany, Mike, oh. they're engaged. But will she get married after the truth comes out? Are you more sexually attracted to black and Latino women rather than white women? <laughs> we were asked if you've had sexual contact with any of Victoria's family members. Who oh, in my family did you have sex? Nobody! Betrayal, lies, and sexy food. Everyone, this is Connie. And Connie is terrified that her newlywed husband of one year, Emmett, may be a serial cheater. You see, yeah, well, here's the, here's the thing. Emmett admits that at one time he was a player. He even said he slept with over a thousand women. <laughs> but Emmett says, uh, 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 I'm a changed man ever since he got married, and he's here today to prove it. Watch. One year ago, Connie finally walked down the aisle with a man she's been in love with for over 30 years. I met Emmett when we were teenagers. When I married Emmett one year ago, it was one of the happiest days of my life. But the last 12 months have been filled with more pain and suspicion than newlywed bliss. As soon as I got married, I would hear sex sounds coming from outside my door, and I would run downstairs, and who would I see? My husband coming from around the corner, sweating and breathing hard, and I would ask him, what's going on? It's not just the suspicions. Connie's found hard evidence throughout their own house. I was in the hospital for two days. When I came home, I found strange lotions in my house. I found baby clothes. I found a rotten-ass tooth in my bed. If I found out my husband was having sex with some woman in my bed, I'm a kick his After a year of marriage, Tommy needs to know, did she marry the man of her dreams, or is she just being deceived? I'm going to find out these results today. Oh, my birthday. And if I find out my husband has been cheating, he's going to have hell to pay. This is your birthday. Do you really want to hear the results on your birthday? Marvie, today is my birthday! <laughs> my husband failed this test! I know he is going to have hell to pay! All right, that's right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Things like this, I mean... Your husband has to mean something to you. Yes, Harry Maury, he means the world to me. We've been off and on ever since we were teenagers. And I really love this man. But you knew he was a player, right? Well, Maury, he told me he's changed, and I believe him. You believe him? I believe him. Right. And then you found the tooth in the bed. Maury, <laughs> I found a rotten-ass tooth in my bed. Where does he say the tooth came from? He tells me it came from his mouth, but I told him to open his mouth. And I looked inside, and I didn't see a missing tooth. So I, I know he's lying. He's come home with his underwears backwards three times. Three times! I mean, but Emmett says he's a changed man. Well, we're going to find out about that, because Emmett is here, all right? Before yes. we meet him, this is what Emmett had to say. Watch this. Connie. I've known you for 34 years. I married you because I want to spend the rest of my life with you. In my life, I've been with over a thousand women. But you got to believe me, that was in the past. I know you hear those sex noises out in the hallway. 
It's not me. They're just all your imagination. Although you see me bust money to come home and I haven't, I'm just having fun with my family. I'm not cheating with another woman. You say you found a tooth in our bed. Do you actually think I have sex with a woman with rotten teeth? Come on now, be real. Cunt, I really do love you, but sometimes you're like a broken record. You always accuse me. It really, really hurts. I mean, I would never, never do that. All right, here he is, Emmett. Emmett, come on out. Here he is. That's a lovely gesture, Emmett. All right, thank you. So, you say for the most part, people like you. They're drawn to you. Yeah, I'm just a people, people type person. Right. I think he's a little too friendly, Maury. No, it don't go no further than that. No, no. Mm -mm. How about those noises she hears? That's all in the mind, Maury. It's in, all in, in the, the mind. mind. It's in my mind that your drawers was put on backwards three times, too? <laughs> no, no, no. It, 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 it ain't nothing like that. It ain't nothing like that. But now, here go the, here go the deal, OK? Now, simple mistake. I bet there's nobody in this audience, there's nobody in this, in this world watching this show who's ever found a tooth in their bed. <laughs> That's I, right. I, I don't know, I don't know where that comes from. He told no, me it was no, his no, tooth, no, Maury. No. His tooth is not missing where he showed me it's supposed to be missing. He's lying. That's an insult to me, thinking I would have to be with a woman or something with a teeth falling but out. But here's How some... that sound? How that, do I look like here's, I need a woman here, with her teeth falling out like that? Yeah. Here's, okay, some, okay, here's okay. something. Thank you. Okay, okay. Here's Thank something you. we haven't talked about. Okay. All right? You all haven't seen each other since June. You okay? Let me tell you why. He's been <coughs> home with his family in Memphis, right? Right. She sent you a bus ticket to come back home three times. Okay. And he keeps making excuses why he won't get on the bus. Okay, but you got to realize. You got to realize. He keeps okay. making excuses. I've been, gone, I've been gone away from home for five years, okay? I haven't seen none of my family or none of my sister came in town. Okay, I could have came back, but I'm going to be with her the rest of my life. So you've been at home? I've been at home with my family. But I you, brand new, brand you new do grandbaby. What would you do with the bus money? Yeah, part, that's what I like Party about. with my family. I'm being honest with you. I party with my family. I don't believe him, I'm being honest. I don't believe him. I don't believe him, Lori. You know what she believes? What's that? She believes you got a woman pregnant. No, 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 yes, no. I do, no. First of all, the baby first of all, the house, first of all, to have a woman pins, pregnant, you got to have pins. sex with him. I don't have sex with no way to settle this. Okay. Let's find the result. Thank you. <laughs> category one, still in love. That's the big category. Yes. We asked you, are you still in love with Connie? You said yes. The lie detector determined that's the truth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come on with it. Come on with it. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. We asked you, Emmett, are you still physically attracted to Connie? You said yes. The lie detector test determined that's the truth. Yeah. Okay. Give, give, give it to me. Come on with it. You booed me. Come on with it. Come, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We asked you, do you think Connie is a good lover? You said yes. The lie detector test said, that's the truth. Okay. You, 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 you. Come on with it. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Come on with it. Give it up. Category two is the honeymoon over. We asked you, do you think Connie is seriously mentally unstable? <laughs> you said no. The lie detector test determined, that's a lie. Did you stay in another state because you are bored with your life with Connie? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. You stayed in another state with me? Oh, yeah. You stayed in another state with me? Oh, yeah. You can go back to that state and find out the same. I know you. I said you were lying. It's about you. I keep telling you. It's all about you. I know you were lying. We asked, did you regret marrying Connie? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. Wait a minute, we're not finished. 
We got the real big questions to ask. We asked you, Emmett, did the noises, sex noises, that Connie heard outside her apartment come from you having sex with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was the truth. No care. That's what I said. I'm worth something. I'm worth something. We asked, you keep coming with it. We asked, have you ever cheated on Connie? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. the bus money that put you on another woman. You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. No! We asked you, did the baby items, Connie, house come from a woman you cheated with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. No! We asked you, did the rotten... Yeah, is that true? I'm no, crazy? That's not true. I'm crazy? Yeah, yeah, you're the one no, crazy no. for thinking no, no. that And we finally asked yeah, you. Yeah, we're seeing who crazy. Finally, did the rotten tooth that Connie found in your bed come from a woman you cheated with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. No! 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 Connie, you got the best birthday present in the world from Maury. Yes, You sir. got the truth. The truth. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now that you, now that you have this, yes. you have to determine what you want to do with your life, but do it with dignity. Emmett, Emmett, you're too old for this. You got to stop playing, player, because you just destroyed. You just destroyed a relationship. You just destroyed a relationship. You destroyed a woman who really cared for you, and you may not find another woman like that ever again. Tell them again. So it's time for you. Tell them again. Yeah. This is the best birthday present in the world to find out that I'm with a no good man who makes no good choices. About and that. It's I don't over. know what was going over that thing. None of it's that. over. I didn't do none of it's that. Over. I didn't do none of that. Wasn't none of that Talk going to on. The head. Not, I'm done on, with you. It was always about Talk you. Always been head. about you. Oh, no. You are the father. Yeah. She's back. Mike is here. Her father. Tell her a secret. I just may not be your father. Oh. Is this man her father? I don't even know if I want to know. When it comes to 18-year-old Brittany, Mike, they're engaged. But will she get married after the truth comes out? Are you more sexually attracted to black and Latino women rather than white women? Betrayal, lies, and sex secrets. Only our lie detector can uncover the truth. Backstage right now is Brittany. Now, Brittany cannot see or hear anything that I'm saying. You see, because four weeks ago, Brittany came to our show to reveal an explosive secret to the love of her life, Justin. So why is Brittany back today? Take a look at this. When Brittany came to our show to reveal a shocking secret to her fiancé, Justin, it was clear how emotional she was. I cheated on you. Why would I not be yours? Oh, no. But how would Justin handle the news? Justin, you are the father. Yeah. After that show aired, our producers received a phone call from none other than Brittany's own father. When I saw Brittany on The Maury Show telling her story, it shocked me. I knew that I had to call Maury so that I could bring out a secret, a deep, dark secret. I'm very concerned about what it's going to do to her, what it's going to do to me, what it's going to do to the rest of the family. I love my daughter with everything I have, and I'm very concerned and very worried about what the secret may do to our relationship. 
So Mike is here, her father, and he has brought Brittany here to tell her a secret. We're going to bring Brittany on in a moment. Uh, first of all, you never expected to be on our show. Not at all. I didn't expect my own daughter to be on the show. It was a bad time in her life, and she didn't know whether her man was the father of their child. So now you call the show. You say, look, guys at the Maury Show, I, 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 I got a secret to tell Brent. What's the secret? I may not be her father. You may not be her father. She, you're the only father she's ever known. We kind of dismissed it, you know, because her mother was killed at such an early age. And uh, so I couldn't bring you? myself to tell her. Uh, it's, and now that she's gone, we, we don't know any of the answers. Worst case scenario? Did her mother ever tell her that you might not be the father? No. And what she did, was too young. She, you know, how, yeah, how old was Brittany when her mother died? Less than five. Aww. Brittany's going to come out here. This is what she had to say before the show. Watch. The last time I was on the show, I was really, really nervous to reveal my secret to my fiancé, Justin. Today, I really know how he feels. I have no idea what my dad has brought me here today to tell me. My mom was murdered when I was a little girl. He's been my only parent. He's been the one that I've turned to when I've had a problem. He's been there for me, so... For me to sit here and to know that he's, he's keeping something from me, it really hurts. God only knows what it could be. Okay, that's very interesting. Now she knows what she put Justin through when Justin came on and she had to tell him a secret. Here's Brittany. Brittany, come on up. <laughs> so, Brittany. How's it been with you and Justin since you came on? Great. Yeah, terrific. Huh? <laughs> you must be absolutely shocked. I am actually. What's upsetting to you? You look concerned, Brittany. Oh, he's kind of got watery eyes. I mean. <laughs> you don't see that from your father much? Never. Mike, turn to Brittany. <laughs> Tell her why you brought her here. I just may not be your father. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you before this. They're going to help us. They're going to help us find out. Are you serious, Dad? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be no different. But we have to tell, know. Tell her why there's doubt. Well, after watching your show, you're young, just like your mom and I was when we got together. And it was rough. We had on again, off again, on again. And during the off times, she, you know, had been seeing other people. And once or twice, your mother said to him that he might not be the father. Dad, I don't understand. I couldn't tell you. She died when you were so young. We couldn't lose two. <laughs> you can do a DNA test and, and, and find out once and for all if you want to do a DNA test. I mean, we have to have your approval if you don't yeah. want it. You do? Here's, here's the risk. Mike, do you have any idea who the people were that that Brittany's I mother? Tell you. Huh? Your mom's life, you know, is a mystery. So if this test comes back that I'm not your father, it will probably forever be an unsolved mystery. We have nothing to go on. Nobody to even look to. This is it. This is the final chapter. Just how close much, the chapter. How, we'll just close it. How much so, Dad? I don't even know if I want to know. Don't worry about the next mystery. It'll be okay. We got enough. You're right. 
Okay. We'll find out. We'll find out. Did this man, her father, Mike, they're engaged. But will she get married after the truth comes out? Are you more sexually attracted to black and Latino women rather than white women? <laughs> we were asked if you've had sexual contact with any of Victoria's family members. Who in my family did you have sex no with? No one! Betrayal, lies, and sex secrets. Only our lie detector can uncover the truth. This is Victoria. Victoria has been madly in love with her fiancé, Jerron, for the last three and a half years. Now, they have, they have two beautiful children together. But Victoria says their wedding will never happen unless Jerron can prove that he has not cheated on her again. You see, Jerron did cheat on Victoria when she was five months pregnant. Hold up, hold up, hold and he, up. And he gave her an STD. So what happens if he fails this test? We're done. I can't do this anymore. This is the last step of our... Victoria. Is that how you found out he cheated the first time with the STD, when you found out you had an STD? Right. The kick to that is I didn't find out until my six-week appointment after I had the baby. Yeah. What are the uh, characteristics of it? Um, the characteristics is called trichinomas, y'all. Be careful, because there's no signs, there's no warnings for it. And what did you find out? I found out that it's transmitted mostly through prostitutes and... Lori, I don't get it at all. What did you find on your all. computer? I had to fix my computer, and I knew he had put some downloaded porn videos on my computer, and I don't really have an issue with porn. I know guys look at it, but this was ridiculous. There was 75 downloaded videos of oh. Check this out. Check this out, y'all. Check this out. It was all black women with big booties, Latinos, and lesbians, okay? There was one token white girl up on there, and for real, for real, and her, her, her behind was as big as Texas. Do y'all see me? Do y'all see me? I am skinny. I am a white girl, and I'm not going to change. You understand me? You understand me? That might just be fantasy. He might not be. What do you mean it's just fantasy? That's what stimulates him. And if that's what stimulates you, I'm obviously not doing it. I am not coffee ice cream. I am not chocolate ice cream. I'm straight up vanilla, and I'm not going to change. <laughs> Boy, I'm not changing. All right. What happened at the Halloween party? At the Halloween party. So we go to this Halloween party that has all of his, his old... And one of his friends kept on pressing me to take a shot. Well, it turns out the shot she gave me was spiked with something. Right, right, spiked my drink. Now, what other reason would he have to put something in my drink to minus me out of the equation except for to cheat on me? But there's also one other story. Sure. You think he's been messing with cheap soap? What does that mean? Okay. So, I only buy Lever 2000 soap in my house. My, my, you know what I'm saying? I only go for the good soap. Right. <laughs> comes home and I know what he smells like when he's just been sweating at work down there, you know what I'm saying? But this is a particular day he walks in my house and I'm smelling like motel, hotel soap or, or, or like a bathroom soap that you get out the dispenser. Everybody knows the difference between hotel, motel, leave it 2000. It's not that hard. Not that hard, y'all. Right. So it gave Jerron an extremely thorough lie detector. We're okay. going to have the results of that. But this is what Jerron had to say about everything you accuse yeah, him of. Watch this. I really love my fiance Victoria. We've been together for three years now. We have two small, beautiful boys together, and I'm here today to prove to her that I'm not cheating on her again. No matter what I do, no matter what I say, she just doesn't believe me. Victoria says I come home with my lips smelling like a The only thing that touches my lips all day is cigarettes, my lunch, and coffee. I can't explain some of Vicky's suspicions. Scratches on my back, missing money, hair she's found from other females. 
All I know is that I'm not associated with any other women. Today, I'm going to prove to Victoria that I am telling her the truth and I am not cheating on her. There he is, Gerard. She's accusing you of all kinds of things. Everything under the sun. Do you smell like cheap soap? <laughs> Nothing went on at a Halloween party. You didn't purposely Absolutely put something not. in her. Well, then what would, what would the no. reason be for them to put something in my drink? I want this I don't explanation. Understand, I don't understand right. why I would I be don't a even reason, know and I don't people. have an explanation for, to any of it. That's what I've told you time and time again. Well, I'm the sick of no explanation. And I can I'm understand done. that, too, but the only thing I can tell you is it's not associated with me cheating on you because the only time I ever did it is the time I explained to you, and but that's it. But have you ever it. heard, once a cheater, always a cheater, and the no. only reason that... I've heard it. For but, but check this out. The I've only reason you admitted to cheating on me in the first place because is you you gonna, no, because, because you got no, caught. It's because you got caught. No, because I knew You would have never even told me that you did that right? if you did not give me an no, STD. That's not it would have been under, that's it not the truth under because the truth. And that would have been it. Man, you're All right. You took the lie detector test. Yes, sir. We're going to have the results. Okay. The first category entitled Love and Attraction. Okay? You were asked if you are still in love with Victoria. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. I got you, but are you, you were asked, are you more sexually attracted to black and Latino women rather than white women? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. That's what I'm saying, sweetheart. I'm, I'm not telling you any lies. I'm I'm not, I can't I trust my, you. And I understand I can't that, trust and that's you. why I took this test. You lied to me for come, almost a year. Do you I'm understand not going to come all the way to New York to try to make a fool of myself by lying to you. You asked me to tell you the truth about the situation. I told you the 100% truth because I want to stay with you. I love you, and I love my kids more than anything in the planet. You were asked if you prefer a woman with a fuller body than the body Victoria has. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> Everything. You were asked if you'd rather look at porn than have sex with Victoria. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. I knew that. That's what I'm saying, Lord. You were asked if you're bored with your sex life with Victoria. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. You were asked, this is now suspicious sex. This is the category. You were asked, did you purposely have someone drug Victoria at a Halloween party so you could cheat on her? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. We were asked if you had sexual conduct of any kind. Any kind. Sexual contact of any kind with any of Victoria's family members. And I told the truth on that. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Victoria, more than the one time she already knows about, you said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie more than 10 different women. You were asked if you used a condom, the one meeting on Victoria when you gave her an STD. You said you did. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Are you, are you crazy? Jeffrey, what's your reaction to all this? Duran, you're 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 a man with a very serious problem in that you're in, in, in that you are very much you're very much in denial as to what's going on in your life. In denying all of these things, saying you came to New York not to make a fool of yourself. Well, accept that you have made a fool of yourself and you've got to change your life. You just made a fool out of yourself and me. What do you think our children are gonna think? What do you think? They're going to think, Javon. I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? Where's dude? Where's Lada?
Dude, come on, break him out here. Let's hear for real. Let's hear for real if you was lying or not, because that man know what he's doing. He failed. Which yeah, question did he? significant reactions to cheating on you. To cheating on me. Exactly. Right. Significant right, reactions to cheating on me. Significant. She is afraid that the love of her life is cheating. Lisa tape records me. I heard things like zippers, laughter. She's driving me nuts with these accusations. You were asked if the long, dark hair Lisa found on the bathroom floor was from a girl you cheated on, Lisa, with sex stains, large panties, with the lie detector determined. Now tell them I'm crazy! You are crazy. Betrayal, lies, and sex secrets. Only our lie detector can uncover the truth. Now imagine spending half of your life, over 20 years, in a relationship with a man you believe is now cheating on you. That's what my next guest, Lisa, says she has done since meeting her husband, Rick. Watch. 21 years ago, Lisa met and fell in love with a man named Rick. But after devoting her entire life to Rick, their relationship is now in severe jeopardy. When Rick and I first started dating, everything was great. We were in a car accident. I was almost killed. He pulled me out and he got a medal for saving my life. That's why I can't believe he wants to throw everything away by cheating on me. For 21 years, I have loved my wife, Lisa, and I have never cheated on her. Her constant nagging is driving us totally apart. But what started as a few suspicions that Rick was cheating has now turned into a full-blown obsession for Lisa. Rick's been coming home smelling like he's had sex with someone. All of a sudden, he's shaving his private parts. Lisa has a very active imagination. Sometimes she even makes things up just to try to get me to confess. But I won't, because I haven't done anything wrong. But according to Lisa, the evidence is overwhelming. For months, I've been putting a tape recorder in Rick's car. And I heard things like zippers, laughter. I also found a female hair in the bathroom. This is not my hair. Look at it. Lisa tape records me and tries to catch me doing stuff which I am not doing wrong. She's driving me nuts, and I will not take it anymore. I know what the lie detector test is going to show, but it's just a shame because it means the end of everything. But you've really become kind of a detective about this. I had no choice. You even hired a private detective. I've hired four of them, four of them actually. Four? <laughs> Did they ever find the smoking gun? Well, um, one of them said, the last one, I um, said that after he left lunch at my work, he never went back to work, and he couldn't find him. You also put the, the tape recorder in the car? I sure do, yeah. You know, all of us have calendars, you know, where we should be on certain days, all these appointments. You have a calendar. You have a calendar. Every single day is marked. Look at this thing. Every single day is marked. And that's just one month. Yeah. What do you do in the hot tub? Um, when he came home from work, um, he was washing his private parts. <laughs> okay, we gave him a we gave him a lie detector test. Here he is to defend himself. Here is your husband, Rick. Rick, come on out. This is the man who saved your life. Look at that look. This has been going on for the past few years where she's, no matter who I come in contact with, she suspects that I'm having an affair with. I haven't cheated on her for, since we've been together 21 years. And the light, light detector. You have four kids. Yeah, three the of them. The youngest is 15. Correct. Right? Right. So they got to know all this stuff. Yeah, and she the girl tells he likes is, is six she, years she, older than his all oldest daughter. All her accusations, she tells all the kids, every, all the friends that we know, she, she talked to anybody who would listen, obviously. Yeah, I'm an open book. About, I have about, nothing to about, hide. About what, I'm not the one who has anything to about hide. the alleged affair that's not happening. All right, here we go. This is <laughs> You were asked, do you still find Lisa attractive? You said yes. The lie detector determined. She's driving me nuts. You were asked if the long, dark hair Lisa found on the bathroom floor was from a girl you cheated on, Lisa, with sex stains, large panties, with the lie detector determined. <laughs> Now tell him I'm crazy! You are crazy. Mark. Betrayal, lies, and sex secrets. Only our lie detector can uncover the truth. Twenty-one years ago, Lisa met and fell in love with a man named Rick. But after devoting her entire life to Rick, their relationship is now in severe jeopardy. 21 years, I have loved my wife, Lisa, and I have never cheated on her. 
Her constant nagging is driving us totally apart. Rick's been coming home smelling like he's had sex with someone. All of a sudden, he's shaving his private parts. Lisa has a very active imagination. Sometimes she even makes things up just to try to get me to confess. I know what the lie detector test is going to show, but it's just a shame because it means the end of everything. You were asked, do you still find Lisa attractive? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked, if you're, are you bored with your sex life with Lisa? You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Ha, ha. Lie number one is wait for the You were asked if you regret marrying Lisa. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Ha, ha. Lie number two. And we're not done yet. Okay. You were asked if when Lisa saw you washing your private parts in the hot tub, was it because you had cheated on Lisa? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. If the long dark hair Lisa found on the bathroom floor was from a girl you cheated on Lisa with, you said no. The lie detector determined you're the truth. You are asked if the sex stains Lisa found on your underwear were from a girl you cheated on Lisa with, you said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Okay. Now tell them I'm crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. It's obvious you're crazy. I told you to lie. You're a sexual addict, okay. and you know it. There's you were asked, else. did you start grooming your private parts to impress another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Oh. If you ever cheated on Lisa during your marriage, you admitted to our lie detector administrator that you have cheated with one woman, but the lie detector determined, with, in fact, you have cheated on her with more than 20 different women. Oh, Rick, obviously you have cheated. Now, regrettably, what's going on is that he is, his cheating has fed into a lot of this delusional thinking that you're having, and it's not healthy for you. So, one, you've got to get your life together, stop cheating, and take a look at the fact that your wife may have some serious issues, and you, my darling, must get attention, and the two of you must do it together. It just may not be your father. Is this man her father? When it comes to 18-year-old Brittany... Maury. Betrayal, lies, and sex secrets. Only our lie detector can uncover the truth. Now, just 48 hours ago, Brittany was shocked to tears after her father revealed a devastating family secret. Because after 18 years, Mike told Brittany he just might not be her father. Now, we've given them a paternity test. We're going to have the results. But what happens if this is the result you don't want to hear? With my mom being passed away, you know, this is something, if, if he's not my dad, I'm never going to know who my dad is, ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out. We're going to find out right now and hope for the best. When it comes to 18-year-old Brittany, Mike, you are the father. Yes. 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 Okay? I can't say me, Dad. I told you I'd do it. We'll be back right after this. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
explosive family drama. Unbelievable results. Aren't couples on the edge of breakup. Will the lie detector save these relationships or end them forever? No, you Why would you do this to me? Carrie thinks the father of her children has cheated on her over 150 times. I'm not crazy, and today I'm going to prove it. He says he's been faithful. You wow. love me? Definitely love you. But how will he explain this? This is what was caught on camera. <laughs> you excuse me? Is it worth it? <laughs> Crystal says they're only having sex five times a year. I go buy sex lingerie. He barely touches me. I put it on and he tells me, oh, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I don't have sex with you every day because I work seven days a week. Is he tired in the bedroom from cheating or is he just plain tired? The lie detector test determined. Plus, Julio just found out his wife has cheated. I never thought Jessica would break those vows. And now he's terrified that baby Isaiah's father is another man. If Isaiah is in mine, he's not gonna look at me like my oldest son does. A marriage and a family hang in the balance. Is Julio the father? Julio. Secret sex lies exposed. You are done. Next. All right, everybody, take a look at this photo. Happy family, right? But for the woman sitting next to me named Carrie, her picture-perfect family is falling apart at the seams because Carrie suspects her boyfriend of almost 10 years, Sam, has cheated on her 150 times. In fact, his unfaithful behavior has even caused Carrie to be diagnosed with an STD. Oh. <laughs> While she was pregnant with their son. <laughs> Carrie wants the truth. 150 times? Yes. I mean, Mary. that's. He denies it. He says, I'm crazy. It's all in my head. I'm not crazy, and today I'm going to prove it. <laughs> Here's the thing. He admitted to you that he cheated once. He did. He says it was the only time. He'd never do it again. He loves me. And? I've heard numerous stories about other women. Before we bring Sam out, this is what he had to say about coming on the show and responding to all these accusations. People make mistakes. And I made the biggest mistake of my life when I cheated on my girlfriend, Carrie. It only happened one time. And for the rest of my life, Kerry will never let me forget it. I know I messed up in the past, so I don't blame her, but we need to move forward. Kerry makes me feel so trapped. Every little thing that I do is scrutinized. This just gotta stop. I love Kerry, and we have 10 amazing years together and three beautiful children. Kerry, you are the only woman in my life, and you always will be. As you know, we gave Sam the lie detector test, and he were going to have the results of that test. But, you know, we took it a step further. We put Sam in one of our green rooms with a private investigator who was posing as another guest on the show. This is what was caught on camera. I can't believe it. I'm happy that I'm here. Why? I got to play you. Oh, you did it? <laughs> Oh, you're dead. You were gonna ask me. Oh, what? Got you on what? Already. See, you know, I got stories to tell my, to my boy. Like, like what? Yo, thank God I went there. <laughs> I don't want you to give it away before we show him. Oh, I won't. <laughs> you better show him quick. <laughs> Here's Sam. Sam, come on out. <laughs> you all been together. 
Yeah. You have three kids together, right? Yes, we do. You Why? love me? Definitely love you. You want to ever hurt me again? No. Liar. Liar. Because, because we know that you admitted to that one time, right? Yes. And boy, I bet you've regretted it ever since. Because oh, of course. You know, she I... brings it up all the time. Yes, she does. And I tell her, you know, I, I made a mistake. I'm only human. Yeah. We're all human. We make yeah. mistakes. This might be another mistake you made, okay? Because last night we put you in a room with one of our sexy decoys. Take a look at what was going on. You are so busted. Sam was just playing along. We just yeah, you can along? explain it to the children when we get home. And I can't wait for everyone home to see this. Harry, wait a minute. Maybe there's an explanation. Oh, hell no. He's nasty. <laughs> no explanation. I came on TV to prove to you I'm done. You are done. Maybe he has an explanation. No, Sam. he doesn't. He's nasty. <laughs> Sam, you His just, excuses, you just he's a stupid. He's nasty. You know, I, I did get caught. You know, I meant once again, once, once again. And I got, I got no explanation. I meant, you know, I didn't. You are a nasty dog. I'm, I'm no, sorry. No, look at me. Look at me right now. You are a nasty pig. I'm sorry. You know what I put you in the thick of me. Of my life, you've ruined our children's life. You're not a good father. Okay, let's hear the results first. You're not. Yeah. I don't need the results now. I don't need the results. Well, listen to them just because, I guess, but I don't need wait, them now. Well, wait a second. If you don't want the results, I won't give them. Well, I want them. I, I want them, but either way, my, my choice is made. But yeah, just for the laughs, I guess we'll use the results. <laughs> Sam, you were asked if you had sex with anyone other than Carrie during your nine-year relationship besides the one time she knows about. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. You've had sex more than 50 times with five different women. You were asked if you had unprotected sex with anyone other than Carrie during your year relation, their nine-year relationship. Don't you do that. You touch him. Don't you touch him, Carrie. You had unprotected sex with anyone during your... the whole time. The whole time you're hurting me, you look at me. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie, unprotected sex more than 10 times. Oh. Sex with the girl you used to work with during your relationship with That's Carrie. That's a lie. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. More than five times. The machine what? Who made that? We made that. Ain't no machine perfect. I'm telling you. I don't want him. I want nothing to do with you anymore. Nothing to do with you. I'm telling you right now, Carrie, before you go home, I want both you and Sam to meet with my counselor. I don't want to see a counselor. You don't? No. No. Well, guess what? Pack your bag. You're on the first thing smoking. Take your... Harry says the relationship is over, but now they both want to come back to the show, and you won't believe the reason why. Crystal says they're only having sex five times a year. I go buy sex lingerie, and he barely touches me. I put it on, and he tells me, oh, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I don't have sex with you every day because I work seven days a week. 
Is he tired in the bedroom from cheating, or is he just plain tired? The lie detector test determined. Will the lie detector save these relationships? Or end them forever? This is Crystal, everybody. Now, Crystal is 25. But she is terrified that her 48-year-old husband, Jose, has been getting his loving from somebody else. Why does she think that? Well, besides the sex that happened between them that made five-month-old baby oh. Ivanique, how cute is she? Okay, besides the sex they had to make that beautiful child, Crystal says she and Jose have had sex ten times in two years. Now, Jose has a reason for that. Jose says he's too old <laughs> and too tired to have sex every day. He says he has to work a lot of hours to support, listen to this, 27 kids. Oh! The question is driving Crystal to tears. I'm scared my husband, Jose, is cheating on me. I love him. I gave him a little girl, my princess. They mean the world to me. Without them, I am nobody. Jose says because he's 48 years old, he says he's too old to have sex with me. We barely have sex. Going on two years, nothing. I feel very contagious for him, and I'm his wife. I love him. I go buy lingerie, sexy lingerie. He said he barely touches me. I am so afraid that when Jose goes to work, he's cheating on me with his co-worker. And I saw for myself that another girl came up to him and kissed my husband. And if I find out that he's cheating on me, he's going to break up his happy home. So what does your family mean to you? They mean the world to me, Maury. Without them, I am nobody. I got nobody anyways. My family's dead. All I have is him and her. Oh, I see. There's no one else in your There's family. There's nobody else in my family but him and my daughter. How bad's his sex life? Shh, man, it's so bad. It looks like I'm contagious. It looks like I got fleas or something. Really? You don't want to get near me. I, I put lingerie on. You just told me to go to sleep. You put lingerie on? Look, I pay for this. This is $100 right here. OK? I put it on, and he tells me, oh, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. And he goes to sleep. Okay, I stay horny and all. You think he's because he's sleeping somewhere else? I know he's sleeping with somebody else. How and do you and know I know that? and I know who's the woman too, his Who? co-worker. Really? Yeah. She tells him, Oh Jose, I'm going out to the bathroom. And then he goes right behind her. And oh. they, they be down there an hour later they come upstairs all laughing. How do you know all that? Because everybody in the store that works with him tells me this stuff. You ever go down there? I go down there all the time and there's nothing down there for, for them to be down there on, on their own, alone. You think he's too old to have sex? Man, he ain't too old to have a five-month-old daughter. He must be working something. Then you say you, you walk around him all the time, he's always scratching himself. Yup, but look at his He's always scratching and scratching. I'm be like, what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. Um, I got a shower. Why you got a shower? Then all of a sudden, 3 o'clock in the morning, what happens? Does he get a phone call? He gets a phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning. I tell him, who's that? Oh, it's my boss. How your boss is going to call you at 3 o'clock in the morning to tell you to get to, get to work early? You saw him kissing a woman on the yep. job? Yep, she came up to him, oh, Jose, mwah, 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 and I'm right there sitting down on the chair. Before we meet Jose, this is what he had to say. Crystal, I love you. Why would I jeopardize our marriage? You and the baby mean the world to me. I don't have sex with you every day because I work seven days a week. I'm getting old. I'm 48 years old. You're 25. I can't even enjoy myself in the beach. There's females everywhere. What am I supposed to do, stick my head in the sand? When I get phone calls in the middle of the night, it's not from all the women. It's from my friends. It's never cheating on you. The girl you seen kissing me, we know each other so long. It's just friendship. You need to stop accusing me all this time. I'm getting too old for this. I can't deal with this no more. Seriously, I am getting tired of this. Here's Jose. Jose, come on out. How you doing, Mr. Murray? You're giving us guys a bad name. 
Yeah, it's I all figured. over at 48. Yeah, I It's know. over at 48? Never. So then why are you tired you can't have sex? I get tired, Smurry. Well, right. let yeah. me see. Let me tell you something. I work all day. Yeah. I work seven days out of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Right. I work two jobs every day, seven days, 12 hours a day. When I come home, I'm tired. What moment. about this lingerie that I waste $100 on it? Why you always tell me to, to go to sleep? Well, baby, when I get home, I love you in that language. No, you how don't. Are you, how you think no, I'm going to buy it for you? Me. Every how time did I you tell you, babe, do I look cute on it? Yeah, you look all right. Yeah, but you do. What am I supposed to do? I I'm come home wife. tired. I'm not supposed to look all right. I'm supposed to look sexy as your wife. But you do look <laughs> Let me explain something, Murray. You work a 12-hour shift. You go home to Connie every night, right? <laughs> when you get home, do you want to talk? And do everything that you do every night? No, you go right, home, you're tired. My question is, well, my question is, what does your 12 hour job gotta do with <laughs> between your <laughs> Not a damn thing. All right. Not a damn thing. She thinks, she thinks that you're messing around at work. Messing around at work? I don't got time to, for her <laughs> and my child. What makes you think I got time for somebody else? I just wanna find out, Maury, that's it. Since you've been with me, have you ever had sex with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie more than three women. <laughs> have any of the phone calls that you've gotten in the middle of the night come from a woman you've had sex with since you've been with Crystal? You said no. The Wait lie man, detector test determined on, that you was a lie. You took the test. Ah. So the, you took the test. Took the test the again test. and All again. Right. But if you and then again, you'd fail again. And oh, again. really? <laughs> really? How am I going to fail? All right. Okay, now, who are these three women that I'm supposed to be cheating with? Well, here I it don't is. Know, you tell Here's the last answer. Sure. Since you've been with Crystal, have you ever had sex with the woman she saw you kiss her at her job? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You've had sex with her more than five times. <laughs> Nobody. Why I cheat Nobody. on you? Why do I cheat on Nobody. you, Crystal? Why would I cheat on you? No, the test says you cheated on me more Why than three times. And no, I know I you didn't. cheated on me. No, I, I did. Julio just found out his wife has cheated. I never thought Jessica would break those vows. And now he's terrified that baby Isaiah's father is another man. If Isaiah isn't mine, he's not going to look at me like my oldest son does. A marriage and a family hang in the balance. Is Julio the father? Julio. Oh. Will the lie detector save these relationships? The door's on me, I'm Teddy! Or end them forever? This is Julio. Everybody. <laughs> this is... This is probably the most pressure-packed time that Julio has ever been through in his life. His marriage to his wife, Jessica, hangs in the balance. You see, what happened was... Three weeks ago, Julio's heart was torn to pieces when his wife, Jessica, admitted to him that she cheated behind his back. Oh. Now, is Julio heard rumors that she was also cheating around the time she got pregnant with their now three-month-old baby, Isaiah. Look at him. If the DNA test proves that Julio is not the father, Julio says he's out and the marriage is over. Three weeks ago, I found out that my wife, Jessica, had cheated on me. When we married each other and we took our vows, I never thought Jessica would break those vows. I had heard rumors that she was sleeping around on me a month and a half before she got pregnant. All the years that I've been with her, I've been faithful to her. I've never gave her a reason to do it. Now that I know that Jessica is capable of cheating, it's hard to believe if Isaiah really is mine. My first son looks just like me. Isaiah doesn't. If Isaiah isn't mine, he's not gonna look at me like my oldest son does. You know, it's not gonna be that same connection. It hurts even more every day that I think about it that Isaiah might not be mine. That's right, we better give the full story. You all have another child. That child looks exactly like you. Yes. Now, you found out three weeks ago, by the way, there you are as a family. And you don't think the little one looks like you? No. Nah. This is what I want to know. Because she didn't wait until she came on this show to tell you this secret of hers. She told you at home. 
Yes. So tell me, what was it like? Give me the whole, replay that event. It was one of her friends that had told me. And I had came back home and I had about it. And then she confessed to it. But not when she got pregnant. Not when she got pregnant. She didn't cheat on pregnant. But you tend to feel that maybe there was another time or something? Around the time that she got pregnant with my son Isaiah, there was rumors going around that she was sleeping with someone. Oh, really? Yes. Now, what does your wife and your family mean to you? They mean everything to me. I, you know, I, I love them. Aww. You also say that if Isaiah is not yours, that you would leave? Yeah, I can't. I won't be able to deal with it. Why? Because, you know, looking at Isaiah and knowing that, you know, he's not mine and... Do you treat him any differently? No. I love him just as much as I love my oldest. But if he is your child, you can forgive her. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. This is what your wife, Jessica, had to say. Watch. I cheated on my husband, Julio, three weeks ago. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't regret it. He started crying, and it broke my heart. But I never cheated around the time that I got pregnant with our son, Isaiah. I need Julio to know that he is Isaiah's father. We have got another child together. His name is Sandra. I love Julio and my two kids. I see Julio being a great father to Isaiah, but I know in his heart he thinks that he's not his son. I need this test to prove he is my baby's father. I know this DNA test is going to save my marriage. It has to. Wow. Marriage hangs in the balance. Here's Jessica. Welcome. Her. You love this man. Very much, I do. So what happened? I messed up totally. I thought that I didn't love him anymore, and I didn't know what I wanted. You said you did this recently, right? Yes. How old is your child? Three months old. So that you conceived a year ago. He also thinks that you were messing around a year ago. That's what he heard. Why does he hear these rumors? Because people talk. Besides this time that you admitted to, did you cheat on him before? No, I did not. Do you know what hangs in the balance here, Jessica? No. Your marriage? Yes. No. Do you believe him when he says he'll leave? Yeah. I do believe it. I love him with all my heart. Well, let's find out right now. When it comes to three-month-old Isaiah, Julio, you are the father. You can forgive her. You can forgive her. You're going to have his mar a marriage as strong as it's ever been. Is that right? Yes. Well, good for you, and I congratulate you on your forgiveness. <laughs> Terrific. Thank you. Herbert works in a music studio with other females, but Nicole thinks he's doing a lot more with these women than just making music. I am not cheating on you. Is he telling the truth? You won't believe what the lie detector test determines. Will the lie detector save these relationships? The door back, we are me. Or end them forever? This is Nicole, and one year ago, Nicole's world was turned upside down when she caught the love of her life, Herbert, cheating on her. Oh. Now, to make matters worse, Herbert got another woman pregnant. Oh. But Nicole's deep love for Herbert helped her to forgive him. But now, Nicole has found herself heartbroken once again. The fact that Herbert comes home with suspicious stains on his anatomy oh. is not helping his case. Watch. When I found out that my boyfriend Herbert got another girl pregnant, it broke my heart. I took Herbert back, thinking that we was going to start a family and get married. And now that we're back together, I feel like it's just a whole lie. When I think about Herbert cheating on me, it tears me up. Just recently, I went on a vacation 
And I think he was having sex with one of my family members because she started acting funny too. This whole thing has me feeling stupid. I don't know what's going on. I need to know the truth today. But you've forgiven him. I forgave him. I mean, that's pretty serious when he cheats on you and has a baby with another woman. Yeah. It's very interesting. You walk around as if everybody's kind of like laughing and like whispering at you. Is that right? Like it's some damn joke. You know what I mean? Have a, somebody laughing at you, joking at you, pointing fingers like, you know, you took them back. You're stupid. Why'd you do that? But as, you know, as if they know something that you don't know. Exactly. Oh, here's a strange thing. His parts down there kind of look different. What's that mean? First of all, Maury, he's black. I, there I can ain't see no that. Chat. There's no chat. They don't make that. It ain't. Period. Nicole, you're like my soulmate. You're like wifey material to me. With these accusations, they need to stop. They're hurting me inside. Just because I'm at the studio making music with other girls doesn't mean I'm having sex with them. I wear my ring every day. I let it be known that I'm taking it. So stop following me around town like a detective. You think you saw some stuff on me down there? It wasn't what you thought, baby. I have dry skin. I was ashy. So as far as me and my ex goes, she wants me back. I'm not having sex with her. She'll do anything to break us up. Nicole, you're the only woman that I want to be with. I am not cheating on you. Here he is, Herbert. Herbert, come on in. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing, Herbert. You, you both have a lot vested in each other, don't you? Yeah, a whole lot. I love her very, very much. She thinks you're having sex my with your ex. My ex is my ex, and she knows best friends. That's all we are, best friends. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, Herbert, because quite frankly, I don't understand this too much. <laughs> but she says... There's a different color down there <laughs> than you're supposed to be. <laughs> I get off the shower. I'm, I mean, I'm ashy. You know, I don't put it ain't never been ashy. No other. It ain't never been ashy. Every time I get out the shower, it's like that. It's very much like that. It is like not ashy. <laughs> Maybe not a little little not, not ashy. <laughs> I want you all to be together because obviously you all have helped each other in tough times. We've been through a lot. Since you got back together with Nicole, have you had sex with any other woman besides Nicole? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. But I don't want you going after him. Have you had? sex with any woman you met while working at the music studio. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. Back together with Nicole. Have you had sex with an ex-girlfriend? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie more than 20 times. What? You know. You know what is a lie. Tommy, are you serious? Never. You Never. sick. Did the stains on your private parts come from you having sex with another no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. G-O-W-N, night gown. Bye. <laughs> See you. Nicole, will you meet with my counselor? Oh, I don't need a counselor. Why? My caller. Go back and get back. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. I would take care of you. We had dreams. A family. That's why, that's why exactly I didn't want you to get pregnant, because you're a dog. Adina suspects that Charles has a baby with another woman. How did he do this to me? Will the lie detector test expose that he has a secret love child? Yeah!
Will the lie detector save these relationships? Or end them forever? Here's my guest, Adina. Now, this isn't somebody who's planning a wedding. This is not somebody who's been with, going with a guy for about a year or so. You see, for the last 18 years, Adina has devoted herself to a man named Charles. And for four of those years, they've been married. And they have a son named Charles Jr., who's kind of a miracle son. <laughs> because Adina was told she couldn't have kids. But it's taken Adina almost 18 years to get to the point where she is today and to come to terms with the fact that she believes that Charles has been cheating on her for most of their 18-year relationship. See, not only does Adina believe that Charles has been intimate with friends of her family members, Adina suspects that Charles has a baby with another woman. This is her story. I've been with my husband, Charles, for 18 years. We have a son, Charles Jr. He's four years old. I'm devastated that my husband is betraying me and betraying my love. 13 years ago, Charles admitted to cheating on me once, and he swore he wouldn't do it again. I believed him, but I don't think he kept his promise. I think Charles may have a baby with another woman. I always thought it, but when I caught them in the bathroom, I knew I was right. How could he do this to me? If I find out he's cheating on me, I will have to leave. You spent 18 <laughs> years with this man. 18 years, Maury. I love him. I love him like no other woman has loved a man before. Why do you think he might have a child with somebody else? Because we had an argument twice, and one of the times he told me that if I found out he had a secret that, you know, it would hurt me. He told me he had a child with another woman, but he said it was a joke, and I believe that it's the truth. You don't play with your wife like that. That is something that you do not say to your wife. That is something that you do not say to somebody who can't have kids. You think that he has cheated on you with one of your relative's girlfriends? Yes, I do. Yes. I caught them in a bathroom, okay? In a bathroom? In my bathroom. Well, the two of them? Yes. Then you also think that he might have been with one of your relatives. Yes, I do. Okay, this is what Charles had to say. Watch. My wife, Adina, and my son, Charles, mean the world to me. Adina is convinced that I'm cheating on her. 13 years ago, I made a mistake, and to this day, I still regret it. I promised I would never cheat on her again, but she still doesn't trust me. Adina even thinks I have another baby over something stupid I said one time while we was arguing. I was just mad. I just said that. Adina even thinks I'm having sex with her family member's girlfriend, but it's not true. This woman is just a friend, nothing more. All I want is for my wife to trust me again. I cannot wait till this test come back and prove that I'm telling the truth. Charles, come on in. <laughs> Two times. No more, bro. That's Ever it. Ever since she, when she told me she was having my son, yeah. that changed me. That oh. changed me completely. No, changed. Marby, if it, it changed, changed me him, completely. how come he did it again? He did it once and he did it again. I want to know the truth. 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 Adina, what did you say to her that you had a child by another woman? Yeah, when people argue, they <laughs> tend to say things. What type of stuff is that to say to your wife? They tend to, to say a things. She oh said some things that hurt me so bad that no. I was thinking of something that's going to no, hurt her. No, she you knows don't that. Say that. CJ is my you only son. You do not say a baby. You CJ don't say anything is my but a baby. Son. If I had another anything child, but that. he would be in my life. Trust anything me. but that. He would be no. in my life. Anything but CJ that. CJ is my only child. No, you don't say that to a woman who was told they could not have kids. You do not do that. Nothing going on with you and the co-workers? Nothing. Nothing but work. Are we going to find out right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Please. 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 Yes. Yes. Please. Will the lie detector test expose that he has a secret love child? No! Will the lie detector save these relationships? Or end them forever? 
I've been with my husband, Charles, 18 years. We have a son, Charles Jr. He's four years old. I'm devastated that my husband is betraying me and betraying my love. I think Charles may have a baby with another woman. How could he do this to me? If I find out he's cheating on me, I will have to leave. Why do you think he might have a child with somebody else? He told me he had a child with another woman, but he said it was a joke, and I believe that it's the truth. My wife, Adina, and my son, Charles, mean the world to me. I promised I would never cheat on her again, but she still doesn't trust me. You did say to her that you had a child by another woman. Yeah, when people <laughs> argue, they what tend to say What type of stuff is that to say to your wife? They Person they, who cannot have other, kids right? was told they she cannot have kids. Let him explain. She oh said some things that hurt me so bad that no. I was thinking of something that's going to no. hurt her. Are we going to find out right now? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Please. Yes, we yes. asked you, do you have a child with another woman? You said no. No. And the lie detector test determined... Telling the truth. That was the truth. Okay. <laughs> You were asked if you ever cheated on her with your relative's girlfriend. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. You were asked if you cheated on Adina with anyone other than the women she already knows about. No. You said no, and the lie detector determined the truth. that's a lie more than 10 women. Yeah! For sex. I'm done. You said okay. no, the lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, no, no, that test is not right, man. That that is a lie. Wait it's a second. Right. But there's something, Adina, to be happy about. Because Charles oh, added a question during his lie detector test. When did you get married before or after you had uh, your child? After I had my son, right before, before I had yeah, my before son. Before my son was born, we got married. Charles, you were asked if you cheated on Adina since you've been married. <laughs> you said no, and the lie detector determined you were telling the truth. <laughs> you had some mis <laughs> down the road. But when you got pregnant with your miracle baby, he had a change of life. He decided... <laughs> That's when you got married, right? And he has been loyal to you and devoted to you since you've been married. Okay. So cut him some slack. I All think. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. You've been honest to me since you've been married. You put that in the past, okay? But I'm telling you, we're really? going to put it in the past. Okay. okay. I love you still. I love you. Still. Okay. He was busted kissing a sexy decoy. <laughs> She said it's over, but now they both want to come back to the show, and you won't believe the reason why. Will the lie detector save these relationships? Or end them forever? Early, Harry saw the shocking hidden camera footage of Sam, the father of her children, kissing a sexy decoy. It looked like the relationship was over. But what happened after they got home? We spoke to Carrie, and she says that after Sam's non-stop begging and pleading, she's agreed to take him back on one condition, that he comes back to the show in the near future for a second lie detector test and proves that he's a changed man. Stay tuned for an update show to find out if Sam is able to turn a new leaf and actually stop cheating on Carrie. Until next time, America.
The emotion on Mari, Furies Unleashed. <laughs> and the family drama reaches its boiling point. Amos has six different women claiming he's the father of their baby. And he's only 17 years old. Six! Three of the six women have taken DNA tests to show this teen the proof. I've been doing this on my own. And they really want to show the proof to his mother. She's a slut! Find your baby daddy! Find your baby daddy! Everyone's about to find out the truth. How many babies does this high school student have? Amos, Amos, Amos. You gotta stop this. Lauren swears she and Kevin plan to have this baby. We plan to have a baby. But Kevin swears that someone else is the father. His brother, David. You said my brother? You think she's cuckoo. No. Yeah. Two paternity tests, two brothers, and one unbelievable DNA result. Plus, Derek fully admits he has 27 children. These two women claim he actually has 29. The unbelievable results are in. Mother, if you don't know me. Is Derek about to find out he has 29 children? Derek. Derek. The conflict. Now! The drama. We don't need this no more. We don't starts now. Everyone, this is Lauren. Welcome Lauren to the show. <laughs> Lauren says. <laughs> Lauren says that she was once so in love with this man, Kevin. So much so that they planned to have a baby together. Aww. Lauren even tattooed Kevin's name on her body. Aww. But today, apparently, things have changed because not only does Kevin accuse Lauren of cheating on him, he's now denying that he's the father of her three-and-a-half-month-old son, Caleb. Aww. Kevin claims that Lauren slept with somebody he knows very well because he believes this man could be Caleb's father, his own brother, David. Oh! Listen to Kevin. If you look up the word scandalous in the dictionary, Lauren's name is going to be plastered all over it. This girl is obsessed with me, and after dating that girl for two weeks, she got my name tattooed on her. Lauren told me she slept with my brother, David. I'd rather him be the father than me any day. This chick definitely caused problems between me and my brother, but at the end of the day, blood is thicker than water. I kicked Lauren straight out of my house onto the streets when she was pregnant. I didn't have room for that fat slob to sit in my house and eat all the food that I paid for. With the reputation like yours, there's no telling who the baby's father is, but it sure ain't me. <laughs> What's up? That's what's up. That boy was the love of my life. He was the love of my life. We was together for two years. We planned to have a baby. We planned to have a baby. We thought of the hey, names you, you, together. You, 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 every time you get mad, Lord, you yeah. don't know. Yeah, this is a letter, okay? Right, right. This says, I want you to read this. Okay. The bottom here. Okay. You go ahead and read that for me, Mark. Keep being strong, and before you know it, we'll be uh, chasing, little, chasing Caleb. little Caleb around and having our own crib, crib and, and life. life. Yes. Thank you. You said it. You said it. You know you did, right? I got the letter right here, Mark. What's that say? That's Kevin it. at the bottom. Thank you. I miss you. <laughs> You're scandalous.
Douglas. That's yeah, all you want. that's what's up. You look at Dick Nick. You look at Dick Nick. Right. That's what you find. All right. And then he accuses you of sleeping with your, his brother and that he's the father. Maury, now let's be for real. Let's be for real. That is his brother. Right. When would I have the time to mess with him and then his brother? What I mean, really? Because why? You all were together. We oh, were together 24/7, Maury. He was <laughs> wondering what I was doing 24/7. Yeah, yeah. Are you serious? What happened when you were three months pregnant? Maury, he kicked me out of our home. We got a home together. Look yep. at this. Yeah, I'm looking. Look at this. Hey, you see these lips? You see that? You see that? You see them foreheads? Yup, yup. Hey, Maury, look at that butt chin. Do I got a butt chin? Nope. Nope. But them lips kill it, Maury. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. He's got the same lips as he does. That's his brother! <laughs> That's his brother! I know, I was just saying, I understand. That's his brother! Hey, I'm with you, Lauren. Right. I'm with you. That's what's I, up. I want to be on your side, okay? All right. Yep. All right, everybody, here's Kevin. Oh. Kevin oh. Oh. Kevin. Kevin. You think she's. Cuckoo, exactly. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Really? Every time, every really? time you get married, really? you throw a name really? up at me. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Hey, what do you do? Call me hey. fat. Hey. Call me fat. Down, but first Mark, of all, how are you going to get married and throw names at me all the time? Then you're going to say my brother. You said my brother. Wait a second. Whatever. Come on. I never by said by I the way, by the way Lauren, wait a minute. Didn't you throw it up to him that his brother was the father? No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, Mari. Did you, did you do that at a Did you do that in a fit no. of anger? No. Well, you know what, Mari? Yes, I did at one point say that he wasn't the father because I don't want him to be the father. I'd rather have somebody you know that's going to be Kevin, there. Don't you think that the only reason you're here is because she wants to be with you? <laughs> She will do anything and everything she possibly yeah. can just All to right. see me, be around me, talk to me. She's a with me. You. You. I you. I love you. Why are you trying I to do this to me? What are you trying to do this to me? What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you going through that for us? 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 Because all she does is sit around, don't work, don't do nothing, don't pay no bills, oh, don't contribute. Right? Yeah, yeah. What'd you call me, Kevin? Oh, he said. Yeah, alright. Always got rumors coming at me mm -hmm. saying that I'm not the father. Damn. Guess what? Come on. Yeah. Guess what? She took a lie detector mm -hmm. test. We'll find out. And here what? is Kevin's what? brother David. I wonder what he has to say. Here's Let's David. See. Father of this child. No, Maury, I ain't the father of this baby. I ain't never touched that girl. I, when my brother came to me and told me about that, I thought it was a joke. You wasn't there when me and him was. Oh, Lord, you always. If this is your child, I will take care of it like I do my other son. I will man up and do what I'm supposed to do. She knows I will. We'll she see. knows I will. We'll so see. what else? Maury, he's a great dad to his son. He's a great dad off the charts, and I think he deserves that too. What makes him so different? Because he ain't mine. David. You think that's your brother's baby? No, Maury, I don't think that's neither one of our babies, oh. man. Here we go. In the case of three month old Caleb David, you are not the father. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! 
of three-month-old Caleb, Kevin, you are the father. Oh. Don't run! Don't run, Kevin! You knew it was going to be true! You knew it was going to be true! No, Kevin! Come Kevin, on, you know! No. You know! You knew know he was your baby! No, I didn't. You knew he was your baby! If Don't I knew, I wouldn't even Kevin. be up here. Kevin. I wouldn't even be here Kevin. on the show. Kevin! I want to come oh back here and read this lie detector test. Yeah, I want to get okay. everything out. Yeah, we'll get to it. He's the daddy. He's the daddy. Now, everybody's worried about where you've been and what you've been doing. Right? Mm. Yeah, That's right. You ready to hear this one? I had you were my asked, dance. during your relationship with Kevin, have you had any sexual contact with his brother David. No. You said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Now what? During your relationship with Kevin, have you ever had any sexual contact with any other person? No. You said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> No. <clears throat> Sorry. That's all I'm asking for. We'll be back right after this. Amos has six different women claiming he's the father of their baby. And he's only 17 years old. Six! Three of the six women have taken DNA tests to show this teen the proof. I've been doing this all my own. And they really want to show the proof to his mother. She's a slut! Find your baby daddy! Find your baby daddy! Everyone's about to find out the truth. He ain't the daddy! How many babies does this high school student have? Amos, Amos, Amos! You gotta stop. Amos, how many babies does this high school student have? The DNA results are in. Everyone, this is Luanza. Welcome, Luanza, to the show. Now, I got to show you, I got to show you pictures of Luanza's son, Amos, from his Facebook page. Now, you see, these photos reveal a lot. But this is what they don't show. Amos is 17. He is, he's still in high school. And now, right now, as we speak, there are six different women claiming they have kids by him. Now, we've tested three of the women, and two of them are here today. Coco and Misha. And we're going to have those results in a moment. But first, take a look how this mother feels about this situation. My son is 17 years old, and he got at least six women claiming to have his babies. My son is too young to have one baby, let alone six. I want him to go to school, finish college, and make something of himself. Today, we've texted three of the six women to see if their kids are his. All these hoes can go to hell. The only reason why they want a baby by me is because my swag is on point and I look good. All these girls, they just like my lips, my hair, my body. They just want a piece of this. I would be so crushed if any of these kids are my sons. And I'm hoping today is a wake-up call. What is a mother like you to do? All that? What do you, how do you think about that? I don't think about it because they're not his. Oh, they're, they're not, not his. Oh, Maury. they're not his. No, they're oh. not his, Maury. Well, guess they're what? They're not his. We gave three of the women DNA tests, including, by the way, his <laughs> Did you know he had a They're car? liars. They're all liars. I knew, no, he doesn't date her. She's lying. She's lying. She's always lying. They want my baby. They want want my baby, you and they're not going to have my baby. They're not going to stick six did. kids you on my that. baby. You're you not going to stick no six that. kids that. on my baby, that. especially her. She's a slut. What yeah. about her? What about her? She's just as worse as that one. She's just as worse as that one. She's a young slut. 
She's yeah. a young slut. What? She's just as worse as that one. What happens if they end up being your grandchildren? No, they're not going to be my grandchildren. They're not going to be my grandchildren. No, they're not. My son is too good for them. But my if, son is too good for them. But if by chance they are, you're going to be a grand. Well, whatever. I, I don't plan to be no grandmother. Look at me. I'm too young and beautiful to be a grandmother. Really? By the way, how old is Misha? She's 20. Okay, so this is what 20-year-old yeah, 20. Misha and 16-year-old Coco had to say. I'm Coco, and I'm 16 years old. And from the moment when I got pregnant with my daughter, Naraya, Amy started denying her, and I've been doing this on my own. My name is Misha, and since the day that I got pregnant with my son, Elijah, Amos have not done nothing for my son, and I've been taking care of him all my own. And what's even more sorry, that is his mother, a grown woman, is denying the kids too. Instead of writing about us, she should teach her son how to be a better man and take care of his responsibility. Amos and his mother need to stop acting childish and be there for my son. His mother should be ashamed of herself for letting him act this way. And I'm pissed off at him because he denies her and she looks just like him. When the test proves that Amos is the father, he needs to stop acting like a child and grow up. Uh -huh. I promise. Here are Coco uh -huh. and Misha. Here they come. What? What? He ain't the daddy. What? He ain't the daddy. What? He ain't the daddy. What? You hear it? He ain't the daddy. He ain't the daddy. You better sit down, little girl. You better sit down, little girl. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. You think you think that child of yours looks like? Like I told him, anybody at the beginning, it might be a possibility that he is not. That's what I told. I you never didn't did. Say that. Never you did, did not say that. You did not say that. You said you was a hundred percent sure that that baby was no, my son's not. baby. No, I did not. Yes, you Marla, did. Marla, I told you it's a possibility okay. that he might not be okay, the father. Fine. Coco. Yes, Maury. What are you sleeping around at that age? Mm -mm. I mean, people make mistakes. I mean, but regardless, uh, it's his. Does that child look like him? Exactly. Like, look at that nose. Look, 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 look at that nose. Look at me. Look at my son. That look baby don't look like you. nothing on look me at or my son. You don't have to. At all. You don't have to. At all. Not you know yours, boo boo. Coco, you know what Amos said? Coco, you know what Amos said? What did he say, Maury? He said he's too young to be the father. I'm 16. And he is. I'm 16. Then you need to close your neck. Close your legs and find your baby daddy. Close your legs and find your baby daddy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, son, got you. And it ain't just you or you. Here's Amos. No. You better move. And you better move. My baby. Don't touch me. I'm going to take care of mine. Whatever. You think you're the father of any of these kids? No, not at all. But why are they doing this? Because you're Look cool. Look at me. Oh. Look at it, baby. Look at it. 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 You know you want him. That's what you get. Because I'm talking about a one-night stand. I'm talking about a one-night stand. He's no good. You wear a condom when you have sex? Yeah. No. No. Yes, he does. In the condoms, Maury. Wait a second. Lawanza. I buy him they condoms. They do what? They do what? I buy him he condoms. Back it up. They no. do what, Lawanza? They put holes how in the you, condoms. How do you know that? I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Girl, you. Take it. Oh, me. To the baby who is not here, uh -huh. Amos, does this high school student have three babies by three different women? Amos, 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 the results are coming up. You gotta stop, sir.
Heather always hoped to have the perfect family. But it didn't work out that way for me. Jeff cheated, abandoned her and her child. Today, she needs a DNA test to show her ex-fiance that he's the father. You got it. Her sister is here and fed up. But is her ex fiance the father? Jeff. Amos, how many babies does this high school student have? The DNA results are in. Everyone, this is Heather. Welcome, Heather, to the show. Now, for the last 13 months, Heather has been a single mother to her daughter, Jewel, because this man. Oh, she's been a single mother because this man, Jeff, denies that he is her father. It is not, it's not the future that Heather anticipated. You see, at one point, these two were engaged. But shortly, shortly after she got pregnant, Heather says Jeff cheated, abandoned her and her unborn child. Why? Just like every little girl, I dreamt of falling in love, getting married, and starting a family. But it didn't work out that way for me. I found out I was pregnant shortly after we got engaged. Three months later, I found text messages in Jeff's phone to another girl saying that he loved her. But I broke up with him because I won't be with a cheater. From that moment on, Jeff has denied my daughter, Jewel. The only father that my daughter knows is my sister, Ashton. Jeff is 30 years old, but he is not a man. He is a child that runs from his responsibilities, and that ends today. It didn't work out no. that way at all. Okay, and by the way, your sister Ashton is here in the audience. Yes, sir. And what you're saying is that Ashton takes care of this baby. She does. She helps me out so much. You ever ask Jeff for things? I've asked him several times. He, he's never there. I've asked him to send me money. Oh, I sent it. Where's it at? It never got there. Right. I check the mailbox all the time. So no. He, so he's done nothing. Nothing. No diapers, no clothes, no money for food. He's never even come down to our house to see her. Hey, I know a thousand percent that is his child. You're sure? Oh, I am positive. Well, guess what? I was what? never this... with anybody else when I was with him. This is what Jeff had to say to my producers last night. Right now, Maury Povich is more important to me than Barack Obama. He's the man that's going to set me free from Heather once and for all. I have said from day one that baby does not look like me at all. Heather's the type of girl that has a lot of one night stands. She plays like she's sweet and innocent, but it's all in act. Heather told my own family members another guy was Jewel's father. My question is why am I the only man getting a DNA test? And for Heather's sister Ashton, I'm sorry you have to care for Heather's baby. Maybe if she wasn't confused about who the father was, you wouldn't have to. Heather, I hope you find your pot of gold, but it won't be at the end of my rainbow. Oh, Everybody, bring him out. Bring him here's out. Jeff. No. Jeff, come on out. No. 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 You know that she is yours. You know that she is your child. You know that, Jeffrey. You know. She got pregnant. You denied the pregnancy in the beginning? In the, in the beginning, there was times and dates that just didn't match up. So, hey, I of course times are right. John, I'm down in South Georgia. Oh, back, back, bitch. Stay back. on over there. What? Stay on over there. about me. Oh, you stay on out there where you at. I have five heart diapers. What I have you. Five five you. Five what five 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 you do you. You do you, I do me. And that's where it is. You know what? I'm supposed to be the end. I'm supposed to fall back, stay in the audience. I'll stay on the stage. Let's leave it at that. Don't pop at me. You can sit on down in the chair. I'll stay up here. She was with... She was with one of my family members. Um, they went out. Right. Evidently, that's having a night on the town or whatever. Cool. Um, her boyfriend at the time or whatever said that it was his child. You'll find out. Wait till you see the DNA results. Well, well, I guess we'll see. 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 We'll see.
You we'll are more important. Right if you're the father, <laughs> you'll take care of the child. If I'm the father, I will stand up for this baby just like I stand up for my you son. You don't get a job? You don't get a job and be there and come see her? I said I will stand up for her just like I stand up for my son. Better. Here we go. When it comes to 13-month-old Jewel, Jeff, you are the father. I Then why the hell's another He's the daddy. Why? Why do you care? Why do you care? Why do you care? <laughs> and hell, if the child's supposed to be mine, there was another man saying it. Of course I'm supposed to care about that. I don't care what he says. You should have known from the get go. You should have listened to her else. to begin with. Okay. You okay. should have believed her. Ladies, back off. Really, you're okay. that gullible? You don't believe the results? That, now, that was the end. No, that you was believe from the doctor. I believe the result. Okay, fine. All right, okay. So just lay off, all right, if you want him to get into this child's life. Allow him the chance, all right? Derek fully admits he has 27 children. <laughs> These two women claim he actually has 29. They're you not mine. Mine. The unbelievable results are in. Murder if you don't know me. Is Derek about to find out he has 29 children? Derek. Derek. <laughs> Amos, how many babies does this high school student have? The DNA results are in. Everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome, Kathy. To the show. Everyone, this is Tammy. Welcome, Tammy, to the show. They don't really have much to do with each other, except on one particular subject, which is why they are united today. They are united against this man, Derek. <laughs> See, Kathy and Tammy say that Derek has a twisted sexual fetish. First, they say that he preys on heavyset women with low self-esteem. They say this is what uh, Derek's M.O. is. He gets these women with low self-esteem, pregnant, and then abandons them. denies Kathy's four-year-old son, Terrell. Aww. He denies Tammy's five-month-old baby, Tristan. Aww. Now, Derek admits that he has other children. Derek says that he has 27 children. Not that but one, I'd Not say. these two. Watch. One man. 27 children, and after today, Derek may have two more kids, putting this father's total to a record-setting 29 kids. Derek's main goal in life is to get low self-esteem women pregnant and then hit the road. Derek is nothing but a manipulator. I played right into his games, and it's my son Tristan who suffers. While both Kathy and Tammy have never met, they both adamantly agree on one thing. Derek should never be allowed to make babies again. This man needs to be castrated for all his damn sins. It kills me that Derek calls Tristan the boy or the kid. Tristan is his son. Terrell looks just like Derek, from his chubby face to his big head. The DNA test will prove that my son Tristan is Derek's 28th child. And my son Terrell makes 29. <laughs> You know, when I read about Derek, there's only one thing I thought. Below his waist, he has a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> when you told him we're, pre you were pregnant, what did he say? He didn't deny him at first. Did he show up at the birth? Lying. He was never there. Lying. Not a dollar, not one dollar towards nothing. Is My son don't even know who he is, just knows his name. You didn't have a long-term relationship with no, Derek, Mari, right? No, we did not. Just, just a, a few months. Oh, just a few no. months. Just a few months. Right. No, well, those kids are not, not mine. Not mine. This is what Derek had to say. Watch. Yeah, I have kids. I have kids in plenty of states. I have them in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Florida, and Texas. But these two, from Taffy and Tammy, 
I know they need a father, but I'm not him. Tammy, she was sleeping around. She was sleeping with me and some other guy. She even told the guy it was his kid. And as far as Kathy, she was sleeping with me. And then she had a nerve to tell me that she slept with Every time I see the kid, I I understand I have 27 kids and I do what I can for them, but I'm not gonna take care of two that are not mine. I came to the show with 27 kids and one on the way, and that's all I'm leaving with. Okay. Bring him out. Here's Derek. Most of us know the names of our children. Do you know the names of your children? Most of them, yes, Maury. <laughs> Most of them, yes. Most of them, yes. Let's go, let's hear them. Most of them, yes. Derek? Yes, yes. Do you pray on heavy set women with low self No, that is not yes, true, Maury. Yes, that yes, is not yes, true. Yes, that's yes, not true at all. I've yes, never that's seen not true at all. Like I have. Listen, Maury. Listen, Maury. Listen, Mari. Listen, Mari. Listen, Mari. I do not play on heavy set women. The thing is this, Mari. The thing is this. I like heavy set women. Has nothing to do with me praying on anybody. Nothing on okay. low self esteem. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Because I can't imagine a woman with high self esteem being with you. Sorry, ladies. That's because. That's because. Murray, 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 that's because you don't know me. Here we go. You're a liar. When it comes to you, Tammy, in the case of five-month-old Tristan, Derek, the unbelievable results are next. Is Derek about to realize he has 29 children or not? Derek, Derek. <laughs> Does this high school student have three babies by three different women? Amos, Amos. Amos, the results are coming up. We gotta stop the. Amos, how many babies does this high school student have? The DNA results are in. One man, 27 children. And after today, Derek may have two more kids, putting this father's total to a record setting 29 kids. Derek's main goal in life is to get low self esteem women pregnant and then hit the road. The DNA test will prove that my son Tristan is Derek's 28th child. And my son Terrell makes 29. Yeah, I have kids. I have kids in plenty of states. I have them in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Florida, and Texas. But these two from Kathy and Tammy, I know they need a father, but I'm not him. I came to the show with 27 kids and one on the way, and that's all I'm leaving with. Here we go. You're a liar. When it comes to you, Tammy, in the case of five-month-old Tristan, Derek, you are the father. Okay, In the case of four-year-old Terrell, Derek, you are not. Yeah, yeah, I told you. I told you he wasn't I told you he wasn't black. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you he wasn't black. See ya. See ya. See ya. Beat it. Beat it. See ya. Beat it. 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 Yeah, whore. Out of here. See you later. Beat it. Yeah, whatever. See you later. You have an obligation. You have an obligation to be in Tammy's child's life. You understand that? Murray. You have 28 children now. Murray. You have 28 Murray. children. Murray. The name don't mean Murray. nothing. Murray. The only way I'm going to be in that child's life is if I have the same rights as she has as a mother. Six women claim this teen is the father of their baby. Everyone's about to find out the truth. He ain't the daddy. How many babies does this high school student have? Amos, Amos, Amos. The unbelievable results are next. We gotta stop the. Amos.
Remus, how many babies does this high school student have? The DNA results are in. My son is 17 years old, and he got at least six women claiming to have his babies. My son is too young to have one baby, let alone six. I want him to go to school, finish college, and make something of himself. Today, we've tested three of the six women to see if their kids are his. All these hoes can go to hell. The only reason why they want a baby by me is because my swag is on point and I look good. I will be so crushed if any of these kids are my sons. And I'm hoping today is a wake up call. I'm Coco and I'm 16 years old. And from the moment when I got pregnant with my daughter, Naraya, Amy started denying her and I've been doing this on my own. My name is Misha. This is the day that I got pregnant with my son, Elijah. Amos have not done nothing for my son and I've been taking care of him all my own. His mother should be ashamed of herself for letting him act this way. And I'm pissed off at him because he denies her and she looks just like him. When the test proved that Amos is the father, he needs to stop acting like a child and grow up. What? He ain't the daddy. What? He ain't the daddy. Think you're the father of any of these kids? No, not at all. But why are they doing this? Cause you're Look cool. at me. Oh, Look at me, baby. You look I can't take it. Yeah. To the baby who is not here, uh -huh. Amos, you are the father. No. 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 In the case no. of one-year-old Naraya. That's your baby, Coco, right? Yes. No. Amos, you are the father. No. 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 Amos, Luanza, okay? You have nothing to do with Misha, okay? No, nothing. But, but you are the grandmother now of That's two. Okay. You, you know are what I, the I'm father sorry. of two. I'm sorry. You know, Amos, we, we wanted to come here and find out if you, you, you know, that you wasn't a daddy. But you know what we got to do now? We'll take two out of six. But long as it ain't true. Long as it ain't true. We'll take two. We'll be back right after this. Thank you very much. The drama continues backstage. Can Amos and his mother accept the fact that he is now a father? You gotta stop, son. Amos, how many babies does this high school student have? The DNA results are in. Earlier, we all met Amos a high school student who had six different women claiming he was the father of their baby. Six! Three out of the six women took a DNA test to show the proof to Amos and his mother, Luanza. Oh, they're so not, not his mother. Oh, mother. they're not his mother. Why would you know? You are like your daddy, boo-boo. Find your baby daddy. Find your baby daddy. The emotions were running extremely high as everyone came out to hear the three DNA results. You think you're the father of any of these kids? No. Not at all. Amos, you are the father. You are the father. You are not the father. Backstage, how would Amos and his mother deal with the fact that he now is a father of two children? You gotta step up now. I told you, you couldn't be going out here sleeping with these girls. You gotta step up, and you gotta stop doing what you be doing, Amos. You gotta stop, son. But we gonna get through, all right? Cause I love you, son. I love you. I love you too, Mom. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Are you completely freaked out right now? I'm 17, and I have a lot of stuff. I'm a senior in high school now. I gotta step up and be a man now. That's my responsibility. What about those other three women? We gotta get them tested? All right, maybe we'll figure this whole thing out, all right? 
Keep watching future shows to find out if DNA tests are taken for any of the other women claiming this young teen is the father of their baby. Until next time, America. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>